In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to remove orphan tables from your WordPress database. You might not think this is an issue on your site, but if your site's been around for any amount of time and you've had plugins that you've installed and removed, there's a good chance you have one or two or more orphan tables in your database that are taking up space that don't need to be there. We're going to find out if you do in this tutorial. Let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now that that's out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and find those orphan tables in your database. I'll see you there. To optimize the database by deleting orphan tables, we're going to need the help of a little plugin. We're going to go over to Plugins and then Add New. We're going to look up Garbage Collector. And this first one here is the one we want by Vladimir. Untested with the current version of WordPress, which can be an issue. So as with any plugin, make sure you back up your site first. In case something goes sideways, you can restore from your backup. This is my test site, so I'm not really too concerned about that. So I'm just gonna click on install now, then click on activate. Now that the plugin is activated, we have a new option under tools called plugins garbage collector. Click on there. We have three options here. Search none WP tables. So what it's actually saying is non-WP, WP tables meaning the core tables that WordPress installs, every WordPress site has these core tables. It's going to search non-WP core tables. It can search WP table structure changes, which is beta experimental work. I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. You can show hidden tables, which I'm going to show. Then I'm going to click on scan database. And this may take some time, so I'm just going to pause this video and come back when it's all done. So on these results, we're given three colors, red, green, and blue. Red means this is possibly a table that is from a plugin that's no longer on the site. So it could potentially be deleted. Green means this item is from an active table, or sorry, an active plugin. And the blue means this table is from a plugin that's still on the site, but it's currently inactive. So the options that you have for deleting are just the red ones, and it shows the kilobyte size in this column here. So if you check all of the ones that are red, this is, of course, at your own risk, and you should back up your database beforehand because that's what smart people do. I'm just going to go through and check all the red ones. This one's from Revolution Slider or Slider Revolution, which is currently not on the site. Those are orphan for sure. So now I've gone through and checked all the red ones, and I'm going to delete them all. And at the very bottom, it says, attention, operation rollback is not possible. Consider making a database backup first. That's smart, make a backup, because this once you click delete tables, those tables aren't coming back unless you have a backup. So if the site crashes, it's kind of your own fault for not making a backup. So I didn't make a backup, so I'm gonna click delete now, I'm gonna see what happens. So if the site goes blank or white screen or error or whatever, the site may be down for a little bit. So we have a green little line here, which is usually good news. So these tables were successfully deleted and the website still works, I think. Let's go to posts. That still works. Go to the front end. That still works. So the site still works. I got away with not doing a backup. The point of that plugin is to delete orphan tables that are taking up space in your database. None of those were extraordinarily big, but plugins like WordFence, for example, if you delete it and it doesn't delete the tables with it, its tables can be huge. And there are a lot of plugins like that that could have huge tables that are orphaned in your database. So if you had a WordPress site for any amount of time, there's a good chance you have at least one orphan table in your database, and this plugin will help you get rid of it. Now, the argument for getting rid of it, of course, is your database will be less bloated, smaller, it should be able to work faster and more efficiently. You won't see any huge differences in performance unless you have mega-sized tables in there that are orphaned. So don't expect all of a sudden a huge speed boost, but just expect peace of mind knowing that your database is clean and optimized, and you don't have extra tables that don't need to be there. So that's how easy it is to find and remove orphan tables. Remember to back up your database first when you're messing around with it. Just in case something goes sideways, you wanna have a backup. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these things over here so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.